Cisco Ice Meraki MX with wired 802.1X. So this is built in 802.1X on the MX. So very quickly, we're gonna to go to configure a port to support 802.1X. Give it a type as access, VLAN, and then uh, select 802.1X. And we're gonna add a radius server and this is gonna be our ICE server. Put in your secret. And hit update. Save that out. Perfect. Now we'll jump over to ICE. We'll add it as a network access device or NAD. And I already have it added here, but just uh, for everyone's reference, Meraki MX is the name I called it. Uh, there's the IP address. Um, and then you're going to select radius authentication settings and you're going to put in the shared secret same secret that you just put in the Meraki MX configuration. All right, now we'll jump over to policy sets. And we're going to use the default policy in this case. We'll go to authentication. You can see that we do have a uh, wired 802.1x that's going to use Active Directory for authentication. And we will build out the authorization policy here. So easy way of doing this is maybe selecting something that already exists. Cisco does uh, do a good job of giving you multiple different examples by default um, that you could uh, copy from. In this case, I already have a couple things here that um, uh, would fall in line on the wireless side. I just need to get rid of the wireless 802.1x and add the wired 802.1x. And I could have maybe used the same policy and did an, an or, right? I could have done wired... 802.1x or wireless. Here I'm just going to change the authorization profile. I'm just going to use the default of permit. So the one thing the MX doesn't currently support the ability to use group policy. So I showed that example uh, with the MR um, in uh, previous uh, videos focused on wireless. Um, but you can't do it on the box for MX. Not today anyway. All right, so I, I flipped over to live logs. Um, I'm gonna add a, a wired connection to this VM that has the that's actually connected to the 802.1x port on the on the MX. Now you have got to make sure that you've got the uh, service enabled uh, uh, wired uh, auto config. I think it's auto config, but that allows you to do 802.1x. So you can see here it's not obviously showing authentication here tab because the, the interface is disabled. So I'll enable it here. And you can see it looks like it's already authenticated. That's how fast it was. Um, but um, let's go to authentication. So enable 802.1x. It's peep. I've turned off the uh, verify the identity uh, validating the signature. Um, in my case, remember this is a lab. Additional settings, so specify authentication mode. Um, I actually put in the user authentication here. Now, um, I did that because this, this asset's actually not connected to a domain. If not, I would just use the built-in credentials that you've logged in with, right? And look at that, we've uh, got to Google, so that works. Let's just check the live logs real quick. .1x, wired, 802.1x, wired sales, Active Directory. That's the, the authentication or authorization policy. So everything looks good. And here's all the details, right? Lots of details uh, it, that's captured and very helpful, especially when troubleshooting. Um, but see that four minutes, um, you know, Meraki MX, 802.1x on the wired side with ICE complete.